Uh, good morning, everybody. Thanks for coming. I'll give you a bit of update on relations from stats, and I'll give you a bit of an overview of what we've done for the last few weeks and answer any questions that you have at the end. Um, currently, we have 940 Crime Stoppers actions, and to date, we've eliminated 83 kids. This is becoming a truly, incredibly sad investigation. Um, there's so much wrong about this case. Um, this is the, truly the little girl lost, you know, lost to the system, lost to society. It's so wrong you know, that we're six weeks in the investigation and we have not been able to identify the offender. It's so wrong six weeks in the investigation and we still don't know who this little girl is. Um, and you can go on and on. You know, it's so wrong for a girl of this age to be murdered and just dumped by the side of the road. Currently, the Forensic Science Centre is working with the Australian Centre for Ancient DNA, um, trying to seek a profile for our little girl. Um, and they'll continue to do work hard in that respect. Over the last number of weeks, we've been working with Commonwealth and state government agencies in relation to data matching. Yesterday, we received 256 names as, as a first round of filter. There is no doubt if this girl has ever been recorded on any government database, we will eventually find out. Um, it's only a matter of time through elimination. And as I said, um, we received our first round of 260, sorry, we received our first round of 256 names yesterday, which we are now working through, and they started late yesterday afternoon. From the examination of all the clothing um, and items at the scene, some that is in the public arena, a lot that is not. We are inclined to believe the girl was probably born between 2005 and 2006. We do need a little bit of wiggle room on that, um, but from everything we have found, which appears to be dated, you know, 2007, 2008, and if you're looking at a girl, you know, around three years of age or between two and a half and four, you'd expect she's probably born in 2005, 2006. Um, we're putting that out there in an attempt to try and trigger um, um, a call to crime toppers because it may, you know, um, be that spark someone needs to, to register that this little girl is missing. Um, we also urge, if you're on the periphery of this crime, uh, to contact Crime Stoppers and all the police. It is only a matter of time before we find out who this little girl is. And once we come knocking, you will have very difficult questions to answer. Does anyone have any questions? Um, so how did you come to, to learn that perhaps this child was born between 2005 and 2006? Look, it's simply through examination of items at the scene, the date of when clothes were made, when the suitcase was, was made. Um, it's all consistent with around that 2007, 2008. And if you've got a girl of three years of age, you know, you, you go back three years, so 2005, 2006. But as I said, we do need a little bit of wiggle room on this because you do have situations of hand-me-down clothes and, um, and that sort of things. But, you know, at our best estimate, you know, would suggest 2005, 2006. What was the feeling like about this? Oh, look, um, delighted we've got more avenues that we can work through. Yes, it's a lot of work. Yes, it's a lot of work for the government agencies who have been involved in providing this list. But this is just the first round and through the filtering process. Um, we will work through this list. Obviously, we will start with South Australian residents first, then work wider. Um, and if we need it, we'll go back to the agencies, we'll widen the filters and we'll look for other avenues. But we would hope that through data matching, at some point, this little girl's name will come to the top of the list. Was it only um, the clothes that belonged to a young girl in that suitcase? No, there was uh, an item of clothing which did appear potentially to be a young boy, but, you know, it's... You sound very frustrated um, by the investigation. Obviously, police, everyone must be feeling the strain of this. Um, Look, it's, it's, it's not the strain, it's, I think, the police and the community as a whole would be most concerned, one, the murder of a young girl, and two, we do not know who this girl is. You know, we haven't been able to put a name to her and she can't have the burial that you know, she rightly deserves. You know, and that's the frustrating 
aspect of this. You know, we're six weeks in the investigation and um, we still don't know who she is. Look, there's no other murder like it in our state at the present time where we have a murder victim who's never been identified. Have you come across any um, recalcitrants, if you like, in the community? I, I imagine most people would be very helpful and, and trying to be helpful to come uh, to a solution, but have you found people resisting? Uh, not at this point, no. Most people are, are wanting to help. They understand the serious nature of this. You know, any murder of a child who's our most vulnerable citizen you know, obviously creates a, a, a lot of um, you know, angst within the community and people want to know who this girl is and what's happened to this girl, and, and, and as, as we do. So you're considering, you're 